Breakthrough power refers to both uh, technologies and also a philosophy of empowerment for the people. The technologies are a whole variety of really revolutionary approaches to getting our energy for electricity and for running cars and, and for heating our homes and greenhouses and, and running our businesses. Through inventions are little known by the people because they would get us out of the oil-based world economy and there are vested interests who really don't want us to get out of the oil-based world economy while they're still gathering their fortunes. So that's why you hear the projection that, oh, exotic energy technologies might come in in another 50 years, 20, 20 50, whatever. Um, the quantum leap new energy inventions are a step farther away from us because they're not accepted by conventional science and they're all still in, mostly all in the prototype form uh, because it's new science and it's not accepted by most academics and it's not written about in science magazines, mainstream science magazines, so it's as if it doesn't exist. But there's a whole field of inquiry, a field of research, a field of experimentation going on around the world. We're not talking about perpetual motion machines that create energy out of nothing, that, that, that uh, miraculously overcome the laws of physics. We're talking about tapping into a previously unknown source of energy of some sort. And in that way, it's not violating any law of conservation of energy that says you can't get more output than the electrical or, or motion input. Um, so we have a certain little tiny, tiny, tiny electrical input into some of these circuits, for example, and then the output is is in the thousands of watts, enough to actually do work. We're not talking about the energy that comes out of splitting an atom apart, destroying an atom apart, apart and, and releasing the power of the binding forces. That's destructive, and, and that's totally the opposite of the new energy technologies that I'm talking about. Uh, we're talking about working with the atom structure, or working with the laws of nature on all levels, and just tickling a little bit of that potential energy out of it in one way or another. So there, the atom may be uh, reconfigured, but it's in a more harmonious way. For example, um, a company called Black Light Power is doing some sort of molecular altering um, electrochemistry dealing with water so that the hydrogen atom is in a different form or is affected differently than in standard physics and that the end result is more power output than, than it took to create the reaction. Way more power output.